Hi, I'm Sushmita, I'm Tanya's mom. And uh, I met uh, Anand of Evolving Minds while Tanya was in nursery and that's when he spoke to me about Evolving Minds. Uh, one thing I really liked about Evolving Minds is the, the concept, the design of the program. It's very practical. Uh, they let the students do the experiments which I was very interested in. So that's the reason I inducted her, her into this program the moment she joined the first standard. We have been associated with Anand through the Evolving Minds initiative of his for almost nine years. First with our elder daughter and then with the younger one. And over these years I have felt that uh, what Anand does is something which is very, very uh, sort of complementary to what is done in the normal schooling system. Our schools are very regimented and uh, I don't think that the children get the right kind of exposure uh, in a more complete sense. Anand helps, I think, you know, expand their thinking and expand their horizons, helps them think on slightly different ways and uh, that is very essential for kids. I'm a parent of uh, Ishan and uh, he's been uh, with Anand and uh, uh, for almost for almost now three years and uh, where I see his journey as a foundation when he joined uh, with Anand I saw him he never used to talk every time there was no questions of him he never used to draw anything I think he was a very a very quiet child but I think I can see that change over a period of years like now almost three years with here and I've got a feedback also of, uh, that he's been talking in the class he's been asking questions and his curiosities have also increased and a, uh, one more very uh, remarkable thing what I've seen in him like in school also if he has to do any experiments I think he wants to take part in that and then he will always say okay I'll ask Anand and uh, to give me some materials I can make and one day I think he has made something in the school and everybody appreciated him so much and I think that uh, boosted his uh, uh, so much that he is now taking more and more interest and I think all these challenges what he makes everything is just amazing when he comes home and he shows us you no know, mama I made this I made that so we are so happy the way it's taught is the student is taught uh, is given a chance to think and solve a problem uh, and then he is asked he or she is asked uh, you know uh, how did the solution come and how did the scientists or the inventors uh, invent these things so it's a very radically uh, different approach uh, makes it very interesting it's very hands-on uh, I personally have a uh, you know master's degree in uh, electronics so I've uh, been through the system, I've worked through lots of uh, you know, uh, problems, I've even taught uh, lots of students, I had my own institute. Critical thinking skills, something that cannot be automated. And uh, that is one of the things that we really want our kids to do. Uh, that is the value that they are going to add to the next uh, generation. And uh, programs like Evolving Minds are really uh, encouraging that. Uh, and here, uh, uh, that's why I value uh, the education here. I mean, if you come here, you'll see the fun that the kids are having. Uh, that is itself the biggest testimony to, uh, you know, uh, what Evolving Minds is doing. So uh, I, in fact, feel all schools should be doing this. Uh, but for now, we are you know, just uh, very happy that we have this opportunity. So I come all the way from Mansoor. Um, tricks are now for me to bring him here. So we come here, stay here, and then I take him back after the whole duration. So he is, and that whole process has been so rewarding because he's so enthusiastic about everything here. And there's no way he wants to miss the class, whether I am ill or he is ill, that doesn't make an excuse for him to come here. And um, as far as the environment concerned in Evolving Minds, very true to their name, they allow the thoughts uh, the child's thoughts to be, uh, you know, it allows them to explore and evolve very well here. And uh, the kind of mentorship that Anand and Ranjana and his whole team gives them, it gives them the uh, confidence to do whatever they like and without having to worry about making mistakes. So that is a very vital aspect for any child because uh, it helps them grow and does not limit their uh, curiosity as well as their uh, imagination. He knows his calendar. For every other class, we will have to keep reminding him, have you kept your books ready or whatever ready, right? And he's very particular about his time, any five minutes late or something, you know, he, he's very overly conscious about it and he makes it a point to, you know, call up another and just saying, in case he's late. So, these are small little things but do matter, you know, that, that drives, that's an inner drive he has to come, uh, that he wants to, you know, come to the class and enjoy. And over the last two years, what we have seen is, he comes up with ideas, 
and wants to do those and feels more confident as a good application of knowledge from science. So I think that's a very good uh, you know, sign of someone developing really well. Thank you, Anand. Yeah. yeah, thanks, Anand, because this, I think, even his previous grade I had kind of mentioned, in a span of one hour, they spend say 50-55 minutes on the question and the last 10-15 minutes on the problem solution, right? So that's a different way of solving the problem altogether. You invest on the time, then execution automatically flows. So that's a different, very uh, unique way that I have found uh, when we compare to the rest of the classes. And kudos to the mentors who are you know really spending time in nurturing so many qualities in the kids. Uh, so thanks a lot, Ananda, and uh, the whole evolving mind team. Thanks a lot.